Welcome back, everyone. I'm Drew, your host of Deciphered, a show that explores best practices in Bitcoin by highlighting some of the cutting-edge features in our products like the Blockstream Green Wallet, Jade, Satellite, and others. In today's episode, we'll be talking about Greenlight, a new lightning service developed by Blockstream that provides scalable, non-custodial lightning infrastructure for app developers and businesses. We'll also be discussing Greenlight's recent integration into Blockstream Green, bringing lightning capability to the wallet. A unique selling point of Greenlight is that it allows app developers and businesses to integrate lightning very easily through a few API calls, while also ensuring users stay in full control over their own funds. It's ideal for businesses wanting to integrate Lightning without having to deal with the technical overhead of channel management and other node operations. But before we dive into Greenlight and explore it firsthand in the new Lightning-capable Blockstream Green Wallet, let's do a brief overview of how Lightning actually works. The Lightning network serves as a second layer solution, enabling near instant and cheap transactions, allowing the Bitcoin to scale to a global level. To better understand this concept, think of the Bitcoin main chain as the digital equivalent to gold acting as the foundational reserve layer. In contrast, the Lightning Network functions as its payment layer, catering to everyday transactions. Additionally, the Liquid Network, another Layer 2 solution, operates as Bitcoin's financial layer, where assets like digital securities and stablecoins can be issued and flourish. You may have come across the term TPS, or transactions per second. And while Bitcoin traditionally has a low TPS rate, by design, the Lightning Network drastically increases this figure, outperforming all other global payment competitors, including other cryptocurrencies, credit cards, traditional banking systems, and even physical cash transactions amongst friends. When properly connected to suitable peers, the Lightning Network allows for nearly instantaneous settlement of Bitcoin transactions. If you want a deeper understanding of how Lightning actually works, make sure you check out the previous core Lightning episode of Deciphered, which I'll link in the description box right down below. To better understand Greenlight, we first need to understand custody. There are several popular ways to onboard someone to Lightning, each with various trade-offs and degrees of custody. The first is through fully custodial services like a custodial wallet or exchange. This tends to be the most convenient and fastest way for someone to onboard another person. Users simply download an app or log in online to the service provider, and the user can receive Bitcoin in seconds. The big trade-off here is the user does not have full custody of their Bitcoin, as they do not hold their own private keys. As a quick refresher, let's review why relying on custodial solutions is not ideal. First, if the user loses their phone or computer that the wallet app is on, there might not be a way for you to recover your funds. Second, the company or developers behind the app could potentially be bad actors and gamble with your funds or even run off with them. Though. Note, if this were to happen, there would likely be legal repercussions and perhaps you'd be compensated, but it's not guaranteed. See the recent FTX debacle and aftermath as an example. Third, the user is dependent on the app to access their Bitcoin, as there is no way to move those sats off the wallet or recover the wallet to another app. This severely limits your options. And finally, apps can censor your transactions based on their own discretion and also reveal your payment history and habits to third parties. A second onboarding option to Lightning is through non-custodial wallet solutions like Phoenix, Breeze, and the new Lightning-capable Blockstream Green Wallet. These wallets require the extra onboarding step of the user creating a wallet and using their own private keys. Non-custodial wallets avoid the pitfalls of giving control of your funds to the app developers or third parties, and should be the preferred option for non-technical users. The trade-off here, however, is on the back end for app developers, who then have to operate the Lightning nodes in-house and become operation experts in the process, taking precious time away from focusing on UX and building their own app. Developers also incur significant risk and liability by virtue of holding users' funds, becoming a honeypot for hackers. Additionally, by holding users' funds, developers take on the overhead of regulatory compliance, navigating stringent AML and KYC laws for each jurisdiction they might operate in. These are pretty strenuous downsides for something as simple as building an app. This is where Greenlight shines. It enables developers to integrate Lightning infrastructure seamlessly into their platform without having to deal with the overhead of node management while also ensuring the wallet or service stays non-custodial and users maintain total control over their private keys and Bitcoin. 
By being non-custodial, developers strike down both the fiduciary liability of holding users' funds, as well as the costs of regulatory and compliance requirements. We'll have Christian Decker, the lead Greenlight engineer, on in a bit to discuss more about the unique advantages Greenlight gives app developers and Bitcoin companies when creating a Lightning business. And finally, a third option when onboarding to Lightning is to set up your own Lightning node. This is the best solution for an individual when using Lightning and will give you the most control. However, as mentioned earlier, there is a technical barrier with users having to learn both channel and liquidity management. This learning curve will take some time to master, but there are plenty of educational resources online to help you tackle this. Now that we have a good grasp of Lightning and its various onboarding solutions and trade-offs, let's learn more about Blockstream's Greenlight. Greenlight is a non-custodial Lightning as a service that marries convenience with self-custody. It takes the biggest barrier of entry for new users and headache for Lightning apps, channel and liquidity management, out of the equation, making onboarding easy and safe. It allows anyone to boot up their own personal Lightning node on Blockstream's on-demand node infrastructure in seconds with a few API calls. The private keys required to sign both on-chain and off-chain transactions never leave the user's device and never touch Blockstream's infrastructure, ensuring self-custody at all times. To help us better understand how Greenlight's infrastructure works and how it helps Lightning apps scale, let's call up Christian Decker. Christian is a longtime Bitcoin Core contributor and one of the architects of the Lightning Network. He's a core tech engineer at Blockstream focusing on Core Lightning and Greenlight. He was also the first person to write their PhD thesis about Bitcoin. So we like to call him Dr. Bitcoin. Let's give Dr. Bitcoin a call. Hey Drew, thanks for having me. Let's do a deep dive into what Greenlight is, who it is for, and what its capabilities are. Greenlight reimagines the Lightning node by splitting it into a number of smaller components that are then run separately. From the very start of the CLN project, we took care to keep all the operations involved in keys exclusively in the signer, separate from the rest of the node. This allows us to run the signer on the user device, while the remainder of the node, with all its operational needs, runs on our infrastructure. The signer is built on the validating Lightning Signer project, and we built an additional end-to-end -end verification system on top, ensuring that only authorized clients can initiate operations touching the funds, not the operator of the infrastructure or a potential attacker gaining access to the infrastructure. This provides us with a system similar to how hardware wallets operate today. The user has a client interface and the signer, while the wallet provider is running the actual Bitcoin nodes that connect to the rest of the network. Only the components controlled by the user can initiate payments, sign invoices, etc., while the resource consuming node is run as efficiently as possibly by us. This allows us to build Greenlight as a hosted, non custodial Lightning node as a service offering. Blockstream takes care of running the infrastructure, including databases with backups virtual machines and watchtowers, while the user still remains in full and exclusive control of their funds. Today, there are already quite a few applications that build on top of Greenlight. Our very own Green Wallet and the Breeze Wallet have integrated with Greenlight for their Lightning support. In addition, Breeze are building Breeze SDK, which builds on Greenlight, adding an LSP integration, swap services, and LNURL integration. This means that an application built on Breeze SDK and Greenlight can immediately receive funds with channels being opened on demand when needed and send on-chain payments directly from their off-chain balance. Thanks, Dr. Bitcoin, for a more technical explainer of Greenlight. Let's have you back on the show soon. What a great guy. So now that we have a greater understanding of the inner workings of Greenlight, let's discuss some of the other unique value props of Greenlight, this time from a business perspective. Here are seven technical and business reasons to consider Greenlight. First, it's self-custodial. Users or the organization controls their own keys and can leverage their existing security setup. Your funds remain under your own control and the keys are managed on your device or infrastructure, ensuring that Blockstream operations teams can never have access to your private keys. Two, you have access to dedicated support. Almost all other services use a Lightning implementation from another vendor, with no service agreement or formal commitment for support. Greenlight is based on Core Lightning, which is authored and maintained by our in-house team. 3. Scalability 
Easily scale to as many users as your business demands. 4. Liquidity, flexibility, and choice. Greenlight allows enterprises to bring their own Lightning service providers and earn routing fees for Lightning payments from their user base. Other offerings plug in their own LSP and rake in the fees for themselves. Businesses also have the option of using any of our LSP partners for liquidity and channel management. 5. Cost Effective Core Lightning's lightweight node implementation and the ability to run nodes on demand means we can efficiently provision Lightning nodes and pass on the savings to you. Support for Offboarding Greenlight is not a walled garden. Users or enterprises can seamlessly offboard their Greenlight node to their own self-hosted infrastructure when they feel ready to. And one of the biggest unique selling points of Greenlight. One node, many apps. Today, any non-custodial Lightning wallet, app, or tool requires a user to set up their own node in order to use it. This leads to users having multiple wallets, each for every non-custodial app or tool, leading to multiple balances. Imagine having a different bank account for every single service that you use. Greenlight offers mobility of a user's Lightning node across multiple applications and experiences. Users can use a single balance for every Lightning wallet, app, or tool across all of their devices in a non-custodial way. No more splitting funds across various apps or wallets. Trying out a new app and discarding those that no longer serve your need is now a seamless, user-friendly experience. Now that we understand how Greenlight works and some of the perks of running Lightning using Greenlight, let's head over to Blockstream Green, which has now integrated non-custodial Lightning Wallet into its offering with the Greenlight service. I'll first demo how to create a Lightning Wallet in Green, then I'll top up the wallet with sats from the main chain, and then I'll show the wallet in action by using it to zap a friend on Noster. In order to set up our first Lightning Wallet on Green, we're first going to need to open up the Green app. From here, I'm going to go into an old uh, on-chain Bitcoin wallet to showcase that I can create a Lightning wallet within a, an already created wallet. So as you can see, you can see some old transactions within this on-chain Bitcoin wallet. In order to make a Lightning wallet, I'm going to go to the settings and pre press create account, and I'm going to press Lightning. From here, it's just telling us that it's an experimental feature, and I'm all right with that, so I'm going to press OK. From here, I'm going to just be waiting a couple seconds for Green to create my new Lightning uh, account. My new Lightning account has been created, and you can see that populate within Green. So from here, I'm going to go to the account, and I'm going to press Receive. I'm going to be sending on-chain Bitcoin sats to this wallet. In the back end, it will transfer these on-chain sats into Lightning sats. So I'm going to copy that on-chain address. And from here, I'm going to go over to Strike. And I'm going to send over all of the funds I have in my wallet here, which is $10. I'm going to press send. And I'm going to click Bitcoin wallet. And I'm going to paste in my on-chain address. From here, I'm going to be sending all $10. And because I'm in no rush, I'm just going to do the no fee. As we can see, my account, my Lightning account now has the sats that we were waiting to receive. So with that, I'm going to send my good friend uh, some Lightning sats on Noster. So I'm, in order to do that, I've searched his name, and I'm going to go over to the zap function, and I'm just going to say, wow. I'm going to send him 1,000 sats, and I'm going to press zap user. From there, I'm going to copy the invoice, and I'm then going to go back to green, and I'm going to press send. From there, I'm going to input the uh, lightning address into the invoice. As you can see, it brings up the 1,000 sats and it shows us the available balance we're able to send and everything works there so i'm going to send the sats from here we're going to wait a couple seconds for green to do its work behind the scenes with green light and from there we should get a confirmed transaction sent and as you can see the thousand sats have been sent from our wallet to our good friend on noster so nice job that's it for today folks to recap this episode, we first started with a brief explanation of what the Lightning Network is. Lightning acts as a second layer solution for Bitcoin. Lightning brings fast, cheap transactions to the network, which helps scale Bitcoin globally. The Bitcoin main chain can be compared to digital gold and serves as a foundational reserve layer. On the other hand, Lightning functions as a payment layer catering to everyday transactions. 
We then dove into the various onboarding solutions on Lightning and their trade-offs for users and developers and how this impacts scaling. Traditional custodial services, while convenient, pose a risk as they withhold a user's private keys. Alternatively, non-custodial wallets offer increased autonomy and security, but require Lightning app developers and companies to become experts in channel and node management. On an individual basis, running one's own Lightning node provides the greatest control and is the most ideal, but it has a technical barrier due to the channel and liquidity management requirements previously mentioned. Greenlight's strength lies in dramatically simplifying Lightning onboarding and node management while ensuring self-custody. It takes the biggest barrier of entry for new users and challenges for Lightning app developers, channel and liquidity management out of the equation, making onboarding and scaling easy and safe. Finally, we wrapped it all up by seeing the capabilities of Greenlight in action by setting up our own Lightning wallet using Blockstream Green. And then we sent some Lightning sats out of the wallet to zap a friend on Noster. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more user-friendly Bitcoin content. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below and we'll do our best to address them in future videos. Thanks again for taking the time to watch our tutorials. We do this for the community. Until next time, continue stacking those sats and as always, don't trust, verify. <laughs>